Excuse me, but... What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but... Do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. Right. But for shine, well, I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. Mm. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Well, listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of to shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh. All right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> Hundreds of gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Hey, fellas. Well, hello. Oh, gracious. I'll go to hell. Hey, no need to be rude. Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Let me take a look at you, tough guy. You ought to wash your mouth out. I said hello, mister. Yep, howdy there. Hello there. Hi there, mister. Now, where's this shine? Take our chances. Step down from there and drop your weapons. I'm taking this ship. Oh, shit. Okay there. Hello. I said hello, tough guy. You think of that all by yourself? You're a wonderful man. Wonderful. <laughs> you got my money? <laughs> it's it's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell the Third. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, uh, well, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? 
<clears throat> well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? See, it's a chair full of electricity. Quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where mm. is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Stay, girl. <laughs> Thank you for keeping us all safe, sir. Who the hell uh -huh. do you think you Please. are? So welcome to our humble police house. I don't like asking, but I need permission to demonstrate a chair that executes with electricity. Now, you know you want it, so scribble on some paper, and I'll get it done for you. I don't like your tone, mister. Say, but don't I, I heard about this professor's Ooh, invention, and I am interested. For $150 in fees, I will write you a permit. <laughs> You should be paying us. How about we give you half? No permit, no execution, mister. It's 150 in fees. Fine. Take the money. Very good. And here is your permit. Pending the usual formalities, such as finding a poor wretch to sit in that chair. I guess that makes sense. I'll tell the professor. So long. You got the bonus. Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell III. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough, and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and... Immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Uh, here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. You're your own jailkeeper, mister. In a prison of your own making. This 
saying, America? We ain't free no more. <laughs> Can't raise no animals, take no wives. All I did was graze my livestock. Married them but needed marrying. And killed any that tried to stop it. I ain't wrong. <laughs> it's you that's wrong. We was trying to live free. And you came along and laid waste. Take me in, just take me to the jailhouse. going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? Lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? Daniels, you all right? <laughs> uh-huh, me too. Well, you'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now.
be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! Here, I got him. Come on! Don't be shy now, let's go. We're going to walk. Now, where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well. Once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Now let's hope. All right, so let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. Don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. What the hell? Good lord! 